On this week's episode, I'm going to share five quick tips for recovering any amp cabinet in any material. Stick around. Alright, tip number one. Take your time removing the Tolex off the original cabinet. You want to take your time and use a heat gun and not move too quickly because if it's an MDF cabinet or even a plywood cabinet can delaminate if you pull too hard. So go slow, use the heat gun to reactivate the glue and pull slowly and make sure everything comes off cleanly. Step two, remove all that nasty glue. You don't want anything under the surface of your cover job. It's going to stand out and you're going to see it. If there's any question as to whether you're going to see it after the fact, yes, you are going to see it after the fact. The quickest way to do that is to use acetone. Now acetone is a solvent that's pretty disgusting and you don't want it all on your hands, you don't want to breathe it, so make sure you do it outside, use heavy gloves, and I would use a metal putty knife. Liberally apply the solvent to the glue, allow it to work, dissolve the glue, use the putty knife to scrape off all that junk. You're gonna keep a trash can close by that you can get rid of all that goop. So, but you need to get rid of all of it. Step three is to prep your surface. Now that you've gotten rid of all the glue, you need to make sure that you fix any divots or maybe there was delamination. Delaminated parts of plywood or MDF you can repair using wood glue and clamps. Just clamp it back up after you've glued it and allow it to cure. Also, if there are any divots or nail holes, any imperfections in the surface of the cabinet will show up afterwards. So you want to take your time, use putty, sandpaper, get the cabinet perfect. Step four, whatever covering you use, you need to make sure that the glue is compatible. So if you're using Tolex, the perfect solution is Tolex glue. You apply it to the back of the Tolex, you apply it to the cabinet, you use a heat gun to prep it, and then you put them together once they're both dry. If you're covering with another type of fabric that's not possible to use a brush to apply it because it'll seep through and be splotchy and, and look terrible on the front, you can spray Tolex glue if you have a compressor and spray equipment, or you can use a combination of Tolex glue on the cabinet and 3M77 spray on the fabric. I wouldn't go any stronger than 77 because you don't want a contact cement that is a permanent bond upon contact. You want something that you can reactivate with the heat gun as you position the Tolex. And that brings me to my fifth and final tip for this week is if you're covering a cabinet, doesn't matter the material, you want to make sure you start off with a brand new razor blade. Using a sharp brand new razor blade will make sure you get those tight corners that look so perfect. If you have any questions, comment below. If you have an interest in seeing more detailed videos about how to cover an amp or how to do grill cloth, uh, I have videos on my channel about how to do that.